Thank you for coming today. Um, you said several times you want to develop it as a historic landmark or, or we bring it back to its historic look and you've been working with the Department of Archives. Who are you working with there? Um, there's a fellow, I, I can't remember the fellow who talked with, but um, I put some of the people we're talking to in touch with him. Um, I can get you the name later. Okay. Um, you said you've had architects visit, visiting, visiting the site. Do you have an architect of record on the project? I don't have an architect. People that I talk with have architects. You don't have We had an architect that we originally did some designs for in um, 07. And um, He's not currently engaged on a development. He's not currently engaged. Um, the demo, you talked, you said you spent $75,000 worth of demo, you paid $75,000. For cleaning up, for the board Why wouldn't you, if you're serious about getting clean, why wouldn't you just issue a demolition contract? Is there, or are you just trying to do it? Well, we, I, I guess one of it was just getting stuff out. We're not necessarily demoing. Well, a demolition cleanup contractor, so. But you're paying day laborers, basically? I have, yes. I have somebody who heads it up, and he has people that work for him. No, you not have a contract with a licensed contract. You're just paying people by the hour. I, I, I have an individual I work with, Mike Stuffel, and he has mm -hmm. people that work with him. Great. Um, we saw the, this conclusion of the structural survey. This is something that you generated, though. Is yeah. this a Mississippi PD? I didn't generate that. That's, I just took a page out of the report. So this is an actual page out of the structural report? Right. Who is the Mississippi PE that did this report? It's a, um, it's, it's a nationwide firm out of Baton Rouge. Um, I can tell you that I, I'll check my phone and see if I can get it, but it's a nationwide thing. Really. Do you have a fire protection engineer who made a recommendation on it? When you said that you couldn't get electric power, um, are you saying that you've applied for temporary power from the city of Gulfport and it's been denied? I've asked and I've been denied. I was told that I couldn't do it to get a power call. You didn't actually, did you actually put in an application for it? I think we did. Recently we did. But we were told before that we wouldn't be granted uh, permission in November, December. Thank you so much. How are you? Thank you for coming, Mr. Eckstein. My questions are a little simpler. Maybe you can have answers to these. You bought the property in 2006, correct? Correct. When did you actually start the cleanup effort that resulted in the pictures that you handed out today? I believe it was September of 06. If the photos that we were shown earlier from the city and those that we were handed just moments ago by you are the same building, apparently there are some cleaner places in. But all the ones that I've seen in here show it looks like recent activity. You took those photos when? Saturday. Saturday. That's March the 13th. We took our photos January 5th of the same year. In two months, it looks like you finally got someone in there cleaning it up. But it's been since 2006 that we've had this problem that you have been dealing with. Now, rules of government move pretty slow. And for us to get to this point today, before we finally get some kind of movement out of you, is really, really aggravating. This has taken our time, consumed us, our resources just to get this building to, to this part being cleaned up. What would it take you to clean up the rest of it and actually do something? Apparently it would take an act of Congress. Because we're here today and it took this body convenience just to get you to clean up three floors. You stated in a letter that you addressed to Mr. Richard Ryan, who's our code enforcement officer, I am trying to be as open and cooperative as possible, but I also do not feel the city of Gulfport is working in a manner that is totally in our best interest. 
Mr. Epstein, you were absolutely correct. We are working in the interest of the city of Gulfport and the citizens of Gulfport. This building is a blight on our community. We've got millions of dollars of investment that is going down in our downtown program here to restore, to have some entertainment, some nightlife, some drawing in of commerce, and yet we can't get you to clean up the place and make it into something that's going to bring a little bit of enjoyment down to the city. I'm just quite frustrated, I may be venting a little bit to you, but it's taken this much action on our part just to get three floors cleaned up. I'll yield. Sir, if your original intent was to save this building from all the deterioration on the underfloor, why would you not have fixed the roof and the south side of the building to begin with to stop the leakage coming in when you've got this much of the upper facade missing? And we live in a climate that always flows from the southeast, which is making that water come in at all times. Well, if you truly were trying to take care of this building, I feel like that would have been the first thing that you would have secured. Um, in hindsight, we did some work on a temporary roof that, that, that was formed in 2008 that went over this area. Um, and, I, and I think that um, in hindsight we might have done a different process when we worked on that. We didn't expect that, that you know, in the summer of a lake that it would come off and, and, and so forth. But, but you know, this, this wasn't roofing right here. This was sidewalk. I don't think that we have water coming in from that side. It's really from that middle picture that you see. Believe me, I've lived here too long. We've got water come flowing and all the way across here every time it rains. Mm -hmm. Every time it rains. And that water is permeating down the wall. Have you ever had this building appraised by uh, anyone? Yes. And what was that appraised? At the, um, it's been appraised twice. Um, it was appraised at purchase in 2006, roughly 3.9 million, and it was part of the process and the MDA in 08. It was appraised, and they um, had a range of values between 4.9 and 6.5, 6.6. We did not, we weren't in charge of that appraisal. That was the group and the MBA. Um, have you had any, have you at any time tried to sell the building? Well, we were under contract in 2008, and then we were going to close in early 2009, and then it didn't close January, February because of the, the general climate in the investment community and the banks. And so we have three parties right now that we're talking with, one being a hotel group, one being um, a residential, and, and another one of mixed shoes. One group, we have a letter of intent. Another one, we have optional first right of refusal in there in the process of uh, both trying to close on the answer. The third group doesn't need to answer. Well, uh I guess that I can probably say that everyone in this room loves this building. Yeah. And we hate that it has not been taken care of and repaired properly that it has come to this point. Because I, I firmly believe that, mm -hmm. that you could have taken initial efforts that would have secured the building and stopped the deterioration of it. And, um, I'm sorry for that because we all have had a good time in this building at one point or another and now we are to the point of I, I just don't I can understand how it's structurally sound the building the walls are thick as all get out but 